A taxi driver whose wife has just left him to the challenge of raising their only son meets and falls in love under the most unusual of circumstances. <laughs> Abbey Love Films presents a satirical and bold representation of the 1980s Taxi Driver One. Featuring a host of renowned film and theatre veterans Adeyemi Afolayo, Adebayo Salami, Charles Olumo, Jide Kusoko, Pare Eyiwumi, Larry Hassan, Jimo Ali, and a host of others. Moji Jacobs, I love you, Moji darling. But very few have come close to the astounding works and immortality of Adeyemi Josiah Ako Afolayo. Adelove, who like the white tiger, the rarest of animals, comes along only once in an entire generation. From the agrarian plains of Agbamu in Kwara State, Adeyemi Josiah Akao Afolayo was born on the 14th of May 1940 to the family of Chief Noah Afolayo Olukmano, who was a peasant farmer, and to Deborah Efuntojola Olaoshebiko, a cloth weaver. Right from his early years, Adeyemi Afolanyo was attracted to and preferred the cultural attendance of Egungun festivals, watching the colorful exercises of masquerades like the Egwelewe, Baka, Ekba, and Onto Arodo, where with other youths he would follow the masquerades for nine days without returning home, eschewing his father's farm where he was often asked to take on agrarian chores. One would characterize this as the earliest markings of his passion and path in the performance and cultural arts later in life. Deyemi attended the Alakbaoro, which is today known as the St. Paul Anglican Primary School, completing his primary education in 1955. Adeyemi Afolanyo moved to Lagos with his uncle, who enrolled him at a school of commerce in Yaba, where he learned how to type, later graduating from the school to become his uncle's secretary at the shop. Shortly after Adeyemi arrived in Lagos, he developed an interest in watching films and started visiting cinema houses. This newfound love of his with his bicycle made him a film enthusiast, visiting cinema houses on a daily basis after shop hours. Adeyemi watched various kinds of films across genre, but he had an especial preference for the Western John Wayne films, Indian films with a special liking for Satyajit Ray's works and Roman epics. Oh, According to his aunt, Adeyemi got his moniker Adelove from the ladies because he was always singing love songs, which he often accompanied with whistling whenever he was returning from the cinema house. <laughs> Fueled by his passion for film and the performances he enjoyed in them, Adilov left his uncle's house and moved to number 6 John Street, Okeari, Lagos Island in 1965. He met Moses Olaya, who is today known as Babasala, who at the time was an established juju musician in 1966. He joined Moses Olaya's concert party the same year, playing with other band members like Kola Yera, Sandy Adeniyi, also known as King Sonny Adi, and many others. What is that? I'm going to go to the house. 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 I saw him in many roles, you know, especially when he was performing with Moses Olaya, Alawada Vasala. He was playing Amunda, the original Amunda, and it's, not, it's never complete, you know, without his uh, contribution. After Tunde Samuel's sordid experiences as a young taxi driver, he takes on the mantle of moral restoration in cleaning up the society of its criminal aspects. <laughs> 
The former taxi driver becomes an undercover policeman beneath the guise of yet another ordinary taxi driver. Taxi Driver 2, the sequel. Featuring a host of veteran actors and theater practitioners Ademi Afolayo, Karim Adekboju, Adebayo Salami, Jide Kusoko, Lyric Baimo, Obalindi, and many others.